Joshua Werman chases tornadoes. The director of the Center for Severe Weather Research is on a mission. We can't wait for a tornado to come to us. We have to drive up to it and get that data close up. Werman commands a fleet of vehicles with scientific instruments, including Doppler radar, which can read the weather and objects moving in the air. Werman and his team watch those pictures in real time inside the truck. I'm seeing it through the computers and through the radar screens, which are making three-dimensional images of the wind and the debris and the rain and hail flowing around the storm. Werman is the first to put Doppler on wheels. Since the 1990s, his team has intercepted about 200 tornadoes. He says the images are much clearer than any from a fixed radar network. We can look at the evolution of the winds near the surface, how that relates to the winds aloft, how the precipitation, the rain and the hail influences whether the air is going up or down, whether it's cold or warm, and how that is causing or not causing a tornado to form. The team also deploys weather pods on the ground in the path of a storm. They can record data below the range of the radar. Werman says that information could lead to better building design in storm-prone areas. Buildings are built right on the ground and we need to understand more about how the winds do damage, how the debris field interacts with the winds and does damage. The scientists make loops of the life cycle of tornadoes to chart which of them develop into major twisters and which die away. They've also pointed the Doppler radar at hurricanes. Positioned on the Louisiana coast for Hurricane Gustav in 2008, the fleet captured high resolution measurements as the hurricane came ashore. Werman says the images show winds in surprising corkscrew rolls. And that corkscrewing motion does two things. One, it brings strong winds down to the surface, and those stronger winds have a much greater potential to cause damage. But in addition, on the way back up, those winds are carrying heat and moisture from the ocean, which is basically the food, the fuel for a hurricane. Looking at those winds could give forecasters a better idea of the storm's intensity, which could translate into more accurate forecasts. And that, Werman says, can save lives. Roseanne Skirbel, VOA News, Washington.